Welcome to Center Athletics Forsk, Minnesota, and the Rowdy Bloodstained Thunderdome. The fans have already moved on from drinking beer in cheap plastic cups to drinking ale and freshly harvested skulls. I, for one, am glad to broadcast this booth as an old World War III bunker. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was here on the now. now. Hey, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, Grim Blitzro with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven, that'll warm you up. Second down in a very long. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Third down and long. It looks like the defense has been on shrinking pills. Uh, that's a ginormous dirty trick there. He could go all the way. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The 30, the 20, the 10. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. <laughs> First down and one. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Well, as a quarterback, you have to take risks and just chuck the ball sometimes. But if that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. And it's first and goal. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, what a brutal hit! Yeah, you think you can go toe to toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. And it's first and ten.
Boom, dead and down. You delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. Yeah. First and eight to go. With kickers, you never know. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky finds his head. He'll be okay. First and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Second down in a lot. Oh, with the brutal hit. Third down and five. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. And that's a catch for three yards. Second down and seven. And the quarterback throws another pick. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? If you get one more bullshit penalty, you get one more for free. You'll also probably lose the game. Just do the attack ref's dirty trick. <laughs> First down and one. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First down and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin wrapping on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. Uh, okay. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? 
goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, well, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. <laughs> And this guy just exploded into flames. Now that he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at, and he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line. Hell of a run, though. Uh, a lot of stamina happens to a lot of guys, Grim. Uh, at least that's what I hear. And it's first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you? Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Pop? That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. Can't hit a guy much harder than that. 
And that is unfortunate. Boom, and he's dead. Ah, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. <laughs> Second down and six. <laughs> and the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. Third down and, well, good luck. And there's another pick. And this quarterback, now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Good thing they have drug testing in the oven. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for the night, Grim. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. He's not going down. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Third and two. And that's a nice run for a first down. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. Put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Second down and six. And 
And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Third and two. Time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Uh, have you seen my beer? And it's first and ten. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Oh. Oh. Hey, can you just a sticky ball dirty trick and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble? <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. Second down and long. And they run it for a couple of yards. Third down and long. Starting to click now. A pickup of eight. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? They stop the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And another interception. This quarterback... Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. And it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this pass for me. A nice pick up for six yards. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And that'll bring up third and one. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. <laughs> and the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. So he just heard 
footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Third down and eight. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh, going in circles. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe off the duck. The kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. And it's first and ten. Money shot. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? We're going to go to a strip tease show. Where are we going? Hey, once you settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Sandwiches. I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about shit. He just slipped away like a Greek. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. Yeah, big ass will probably. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Man, not a ball's feelings are hurt. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? Second down and ten. The punter is warming up. And this guy just blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of those video game fire modes. I mean, literally. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? First and ten. And the 
And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Second down and more than the QB would like. He's going long with the pass. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. Pow, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Crushed. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Second down in a very lot. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Third down and three. QB know which team he's on? I don't even know. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more reception. Oh, what a hit. Hey, Bricks, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, that's not fair. Someone should call a penalty on this ref. Yeah, the death penalty. Hang them by the nuts. Second down and more defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Bam! The offense lost their final quarterback. Lucky for them, they're on defense now or the game would be over. Uh, so all the other team has to do is punt the force of forfeit? That would be correct, Bricks. And it's first and ten. I don't know 
know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? He declines open spaces, running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. The 30. The 20. He's at the 10. He intercepted the QB's pass and returns it for a touchdown. That's not just salt in the moon. That's peen in the ashes of the smoldering remains. Carl, you are truly a master poet, Grim. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides. You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer. Keska say, what the fuck the fuck the fuck? The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. Second down in a lot. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. Oh, that's huge! And he put the Jets on and caught him from behind. And the Purple Mutant Eaters just made the competition today and deliver their home team fans a forfeit. Some of the defensive Mutant Eater players are snapping on the left of the body parts. Why do you think they're called the Purple Mutant Eaters, you idiot? There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.